Uh, I don't think men should get married. Hot um. take. Just I'll wait, take. so just women should marry each other? How does that work? How does that work? work? Well, 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 like, tell me more, Brian. As <laughs> Why not? Well, Let's unpack that together. Well, okay. <laughs> no trauma dumping. <laughs> I, I'm a man, so I'm speaking kind of on behalf of men. I don't think men should get married because of the financial ramifications of divorce. Well, that's what prenups are for. Yeah. Prenups, like prenups constantly get thrown out. What about women no, who make more money than men? You also got girls saying, like, how about when the yeah. man comes after you? There's a lot women. of women that make more money than I men. I know lots of women that they are financially responsible to pay the man. You know a lot of women that are paying? Yes, well, it is, it is changing a little I, bit. I have done that myself. Congrats. Right. How much do you pay? You, you said, you, hold on, let, let's, let's talk about your situation. You were married for 14 years, correct? Yes. Uh, I did not work when I was married. Oh. Zero. And Wait, then two years that. after my divorce, he opened the case for child support. Based. And then, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, because um, I kind of have a, like an interesting life story, and w- over like within a year, I became like uh, over a year, like I had companies that they were making multi million dollars. And then when he found out that I'm making money, he came after me. He opened the case, and then equality. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait. So okay. Uh, hold on. So but don't be generalized. You were. How long are you still paying alimony? No. After they were 18 Nick, years old, I st- after they were 18 years old, I stopped. Oh, after the kids. The kids were 18. Well, that's child support. Child about support. Alimony? No, no, no. I only pay child support. You didn't pay alimony. Uh. Uh-uh. Okay. Even though you were married for, were you married in California? Yes. He, did he attempt to go for alimony? Uh, I can't remember. What's the time limit to be married for alimony? Well, the, the she was married a long time, but 14 I years? was married a very long time, and I never worked in that 14 years. I worked after my divorce. Okay, interesting. Oh, I, yeah, I'm sure it's complicated by that. But, yes. So, but you were paying him child support. Yes. How much were you paying in child support? 70000 a year. Okay. Wow. Why didn't he go for alimony? I mean, okay, maybe, maybe he <laughs> no, wasn't able to. No, because I did everything in order not to pay him. Ah, okay, yeah. there you go, there you yeah, go. Yeah, okay, good for well, you. Well, I, well, I will people. say this. While, there, while it is certainly the case that some women will pay men child support or alimony, my understanding is that 90% of child support payments go from men to women, and 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. So um, I suppose if you're a woman and you're making a shit ton of money, to be fair, in the court system, there is a bias against men. However, like you will, if you're the breadwinner as a woman, you might be, you're still gonna, if your husband wants to, he can go after you for alimony and child support if they were children. Uh, but in any case, if you're a man and you're the bre- breadwinner, which is still the majority of relationships, uh, I don't recommend it for men. So I don't think men should get married. Hmm. Brian, what's your vetting process for dating people? What do you mean? What's your what's your like? How do you uh, how do you you determine? Taken, engaged. What's your deal? Well, actually, I kind of want to shoot my shot. So um, Ariana Grande. (laughs) Ariana Grande. Let's pull her back up. So so (laughs) actually, um, Cy, right? Yes. I have mild hypothyroidism, so if you really want to fuck up our kids, maybe we can just, <laughs> yeah. just saying. Just saying. That's perfect. Yeah, that's a perfect combo. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, good times, but. Uh, what, what was the question? <laughs> uh, I was just asking your dating status. You didn't share yours. Oh, uh, as a man of God, I do not reveal my mm. oh, situation. Man of God. Okay, all right. Well, that sets the tone for the rest of what I'm going to say on this show. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But uh, no, when it comes to marriage, what, what was your question over here? My question was, how do you vet people to date and pursue a relationship? Because wouldn't you be able to catch like, oh, she's just after me for my money. She doesn't actually oh. take an interest in me. But okay, here's the thing more than 50% of marriages end in divorce. So do you think that of all the people that get married, do you think going into marriage, they're thinking, yeah, I'm probably going to get divorced within three years. Look at Mia Khalifa. She thought that. (laughs) Yeah, but like how many people who get married, they're on their wedding day, Mm -hmm. they probably think, yeah, this is it. This is the one. This is for life. And then one year, two year, three years go by. Things change. Who knows what the finances can change. That's a big reason for divorce is financials. Um... Most people, when they get married, probably aren't anticipating that they're going to get divorced. So how many people are in that position of thinking, I've properly vetted this person, they're, I'm in love, they're amazing, and then they're divorced? Yeah. Even religious people. Yes. 
I was I was religious and mm. like I had no desire to be divorced because I just want to be a good kid for my mom and dad, society and family and everyone. And then I realized I'm completely sacrificing myself and mm. completely creating another identity for someone else. So then right. I decided to walk out. Yeah, well, I, well, I think one thing, um, and I, I've, I've written this down, so, and maybe some of you might agree with this, men marry women with the hope they will never change. Women marry uh-huh. men with the yeah. hope they will change. That is mm-hmm. so true. That's definitely true. true. Yeah, very true. true. Invariably, yeah. they are both disappointed. Yes. Um, so, you know, In the that. military, 80% of people get divorced. But what I do want to well, say... But, but when it comes to the military, there's some there's certain financial benefits. Well, that's what yeah, I was going to say. So th- like, when, you, when you're talking about your data that you just presented, like 50% of marriages end in divorce, there's a few things I just want you to consider that skew the data. So uh, there's financial incentives in the military so or even like living arrangements. So if you live on base and you're married, you have the option to live off base, which is preferable for a yeah. number of reasons. Mm-hmm. So people do that. But then you also get paid more money if you're married because you have a dependent now on your record so the army gives you or all the military services give you more money so people quickly get divorced but it's an incentivized thing to do that then the other thing is religious so like mormons is an example they can't date they can't have sex without getting married so they get married so they are in the eyes of god okay to have sex and that's true of a lot of religions and so in order to break up with that person and get a new partner they have to get a divorce so there's a lot of things skewing true actual marriage uh that you you should just definitely consider in that you mentioned the religious thing, though. I, I, I would say, though, that if you were to compare that cohort of people who mm-hmm. are very religious and they didn't have sex prior to getting married, and the stats are way lower. Like I would, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the divorce rate amongst people who are, have a either a very low uh, prior uh, sexual partners prior to marriage or who are virgins mm. is very very low compared to the general population. It mm-hmm. is. Um, yes. It is. So. It's plausible that there's rate. there's religious people out there who are getting married because they so desperately want to have sex, and then they're just going to get divorced to have a new yeah. part. But I mean, that has to be a very small proportion of that's not the of re- people who are religious who are getting divorced. I mean, I knew a lot. Like my my mother, my family was Mormon when I was growing up, and it was like every every couple I could think of when I was growing up that was Mormon was doing that. Yeah. Well, they look, were getting divorced. Yeah, to, to switch really? partners. Yeah, because like as because really? like as early as 17, 16, 17, they were getting married, so they could have sex as a you know with their partner, yeah. uh, or their families were like forcing like you know pushing mm-hmm. them to get married so yeah. that it, there were any kind of contact relationship wise was approved you know by mm-hmm. the religion standards. But you know as we do when we date, we shop around partners like yeah. to see who we truly jive with, and so it's kind of an unfortunate scenario where they're kind of backed into this quarter of having to get a divorce just to switch relationships. Well, so. I mean the other thing though is that you mentioned that well there are women now who are paying child support and alimony but even I actually saw a statistic that said women who are high earners who earn more than their partner they're more likely to diver- divorce their partner hmm. so my position changes so I had money after my divorce so but that makes it hard for me to date men right now because you're successful and yes it, it yeah. makes it very very like complicated yeah but like for me, for example, as someone who's successful and high earner, like the prospect of marrying a woman and then losing half my shit is not particularly appealing. Mm. And I mean, there's there's a whole there's custody disputes. I mean, my encouragement to both men and women is go to your local courthouse wherever you live. Go find the family when there there's a uh, family proceedings or divorce proceedings. And just sit and watch the case. <laughs> that shit is so depressing. Like, it is the and especially custody disputes are it is. brutal. It is. It's Four one years in court. E, yeah, even the ones even the ones where there's no children involved, it's still so contentious. But when there's kids involved, then you're risking getting. When kids get involved, then there's a there's a likelihood. Well, not a likelihood. There's a. There's definitely a lot of reports of false accusations being levied against men of mm-hmm. all sorts of things in, or, in an effort to leverage uh, those false accusations to get a better outcome when it comes to getting custody of children. So, um, and there's a bias in the court system against men, so I don't think men should get married for those reasons. Now, if we were to do away with alimony and 
child, well, ch I don't think we should do away with child support, but I do think there should be a, just a, bl a limit on child support. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no reason that you should, anyone, even if you're very wealthy, you should be paying $10,000 a month in child support. That I can That's get behind. Crazy. That I agree it's, with because yeah, like, yeah. I, like this whole case with uh, Kevin Costner, his wife getting like oh, $150,000 a month. Like, what do you need that for? Like, uh, yeah. you know, like go buy a house. You can get one in a gated community anywhere in the country and not need $150,000 a month. Like that's like yeah. crazy. Here, I agree. Yeah, And here's the other thing that I think they should do. Um, in the same way with uh, like food stamp programs, like they give you a credit card, CalFresh, it's different in different states. Um, food benefits from the government. They give you a card, you can only purchase food with with that card food that they give yes. you. Mm -hmm. I think it should be the same with if with child support. You should yeah. only be able to purchase child-related uh, expenses. I just want to add that 